All right, so I'm super stoked about this. This is the Anzo headlights for the fifth gen 4Runner. Um, so it's a nice aftermarket headlight for for 4Runners. Um, this is the what it came in in the box. It seems to be pretty uh, well packaged. This is their packaging um, material and inside we've this is some pretty good like soft foam but uh, inside that's this is the right side driver side uh i mean i'm sorry passenger side headlight so this as you can see there is it's pretty much a black housing with an led tube um across the, like a lid um there's still some chrome though within um, with amber turn signal and then there is an amber reflector still on the side but for the most part um, all of the chrome is gone on the out outer housing uh, in terms of build quality quality this looks pretty solid to me um, let me take a look at some of the edges everything seems pretty good to me Um, this is the back side of it. So you can see that they still have the cover for your low beam. Um, this is the amber turn signal. And then this is the high beam bulb right there. And this is designed to be a, a plug and play for the most part on the setup for this headlight. So here's the, head, the Anza headlights on the 4Runner. Here's a frontal view. It looks pretty sick. It blends right in. You don't really get to see a whole lot of the chrome that you normally saw with the uh, stock headlights. Let me go turn them on real quick. So here's one of the first modes um, where only the amber turn signal as well as the um, outer line lights up and that's for both sides so this is what it looks like with um, low beams on so this is what um, you would get uh, at night when you're using a low beam so there's a bar this is your projector low beam then your turn signal And then I'll show you guys the high beams too. And this is with the high beams. So we take a look. So the Anzo headlights come with bulbs already provided inside. They do use the standard halogen bulbs. Um, the only difference is that the low beam traditionally on the stock 4Runner runs on a H11 bulb. Um, the Anzos, they actually provide a, an H7 bulb. So a little difference in um, fitting for the, the halogen bulbs. And high beams and low beams also come with the headlights as well. Here's a reflector. So, all right guys, so this is what the headlight looks like at night and the distance of the throw. So here, let me turn off the lights so you can see what it looks like without headlights. 
and then with the headlights. Now these are the halogen bulbs that came with the Anzo headlights. So I would say the, the throw is pretty good. And then when you add in the fog lights that I have, it really expands all across. Um, so, and it, you know, considering it's, it's um, halogen bulbs, they don't, they aren't as yellow as I think our OEMs are. Um, it's a little bit brighter than I uh, would have expected, but we can go ahead and just kind of circle the the neighborhood real quick just so you guys can see I think they're pretty bright for considering there is still a lot of street lamps out. Um, I think it's pretty bright for what they are. So you guys can see the center beams are pretty good. I'm gonna turn off the fog lights on this one here. So here's just the headlights. Just the headlights. It's pretty dark over here, so it's gonna probably look a lot brighter than. So I have no problem seeing at all with these aftermarkets in terms of what's in front of me. I think the throw is pretty good. And then here's the fog lights. Adds a lot more to the outer edges with the fog lights. And then here's some, here's just a little bit of high beams. can't really tell I mean you can see a little bit of a difference as a driver but I don't think you can see a whole lot of difference uh, in the video So the reason I went with Anzos over any of the other aftermarket headlights out there like Alpha Rex or Morimoto's is mainly because of the price point. When I looked things up, the Anzos were, I think, the lowest price point that I saw compared to others in the aftermarket headlights. I got mine around the low 300s, but I know that Anzos just a manufacturer and they distribute to retailers these retailers are it, it, the price point is left up to them on how they want to 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 price these out as and i've seen them anywhere from the low 300s up until sort of like the mid 500s um for these onzo headlights also you know alpha rex and morimoto in terms of the way the headlights are designed they're relatively similar in a sense um, they're also pretty high price points Morimoto's being kind of in the grand area. Same thing with the Alpharex. And I know Alpharex has multiple tiered items and I would probably 
relate or, or categorize the Anzos as the same tier level as Alpha Rex's lowest tier. So I think they're relatively similar because Alpha Rex's lowest tier comes with halogen lights as well, um, just like these Anzos do. But the main reason was I needed, I wanted something different in terms of OEM. I, I did like the design of the Anzos. I really do like the Morimoto's and Alpha Rex's as well, but it was way beyond my price point. So I just went ahead, took a gamble, got the Anzos, and I'm actually really, really, really happy with my purchase. I was between Anzos and the entry level Alpha Rex's, but saving that extra like 100, 150 bucks for something relatively the same um, was worth it to me. So I, I went in and tried the Anzos. From a quality perspective, I've never used any other aftermarket headlight. This is my first aftermarket headlight. So from a quality perspective, I think they're, they're pretty good for the price point. These are made in Taiwan. Um, when I received the, the box, it was really well packaged. One of my headlights did have a small chip on it, but I think it really is just due to, to the handling of, of, of the boxes. But it, nonetheless, it doesn't affect performance and you're not even gonna notice it unless you, you're you know, really eyeing it. But quality is pretty good. Comparing it to OEM in terms of build quality, it felt just as robust. Um, the, the lens was just as good. It's, you know, everything was, was, was as OEM as, as close as it can be. In terms of light output, as you guys saw earlier, the light output is, is, in my opinion, pretty good. It's on par or a little bit better than OEM. I don't have any OEM clips as part of this video, but just from what I experienced and what I remember, the light output on the Anzos is a little bit better, in my opinion, than the OEM ones. I feel like the throw is a little bit better in terms of how far you can see ahead of you. And um, it, overall, just... I'm pretty happy with the light output. I'm not lacking in any way. The only thing that is a little upsetting, or not really upsetting, but just kind of like a con in a sense, is that it does come with halogen bulbs and not LEDs. At that price point, I wouldn't really, I don't expect at all to have LEDs. I expect bulbs and maybe, you know, if, you're, if you want to, you can replace halogen bulbs on your own with LEDs. Which brings us to the, I guess, the biggest con of the Anzo headlights, or I guess any aftermarket headlight in general, is changing the halogen bulbs or changing or swapping the bulbs out or anything on the Anzo headlights is a pain in the butt because the low beam and the amber signal is hidden just behind um, where the headlight goes, and it's covered in a sense that you are not able to reach the bulbs without taking the headlight out. So I'd have to pop the bumper off and unscrew the headlights and pop the headlight unit out to change the bulbs on the inside. You may be able to reach the high beams, but then again, I, those are the least used of them all. So I would imagine the, the turn signals or the low, light, low beams going out first. So getting those changed out are gonna be a pain, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's the issue with all aftermarket headlights, they all have that nuance of having the low beams and turn signals hidden behind that's not accessible compared to OEM builds. But yeah, um, the bulb size, size is a little bit different. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video um, compared to OEM, but it's not that big of a deal. Overall, I'm really happy with the purchase. It, for 300, for the price point of 300 something dollars, I don't think it can be beat. It gives a nice aesthetic change to the Forerunner. It provides to me a better throw of the of the light output, and it serves my purposes and it looks good to me. But I'll leave the rest up to you guys. Uh, if you guys are interested or or have any questions, feel free to you know comment, reach out, anything of that stuff. I'm more than happy to help answer some questions. If you, if I get enough questions of a certain topic behind these lights, then maybe I'll make another video for it. But yeah. Anything you guys need, leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in again. I hope you guys enjoyed.